Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. So uh, there was the big Grenfell fire. That happened because of uh, neoliberalism. Got to make a profit, baby. Got to cut corners. It says the fire was allegedly spread because of the cladding. They would put up in sections, and those sections were flammable. And why did they do that? Because they saved a couple of bucks per uh, per clad. And why else were they allowed to do that? Why else were there was did a fire like that happen and it wasn't stopped? There wasn't a sprinkler system. There wasn't the hoses. There wasn't better. Why? Well, because government ministers congratulated themselves for cutting fire regulations. Now on one, we join Uno Hagen in the RTE newsroom. Good evening and welcome. The headlines tonight. New Children's Hospital appeals fire safety conditions on cost grounds. Concerns have been raised about fire safety at the new National Children's Hospital after it emerged fire safety conditions are being appealed to onboard Planola. The appeal is related to cost control, according to the Minister for Children, who said safety will not be compromised. Building work for the new National Children's Hospital commenced earlier this year after many years of delay. Today it was revealed the hospital's development board has appealed to onboard Planola three of four fire safety conditions imposed on it by Dublin City Council Fire Department. The appeal is based on cost control but won't compromise safety according to the Minister for Children. The primary responsibility and concern is the safety of our children. Full stop, end of story. At the same time, I mean, they do have to have an eye in relation to the costs in terms of the hospital. <laughs> There is no such thing as too much fire safety. And any time that a fire disaster has happened, the studies of it afterwards will always show one particular thing, that time was essential. So if you can delay the spread of a fire by even 30 seconds, or a minute, 60 seconds, that could save a very significant amount of lives. And certainly that's what happened with Stardust. When the Stardust went on fire, what shocked people both at the time and looking back at it still, is how very quickly the Stardust nightclub exploded into fire. But what had been happening was in the Stardust, before it reached Flashpoint, the fire had been going for quite a time. And people had been told to leave and people had been told not to go back in. And had they been able to delay things for even another 60 seconds, many, many people would have survived who didn't. Your government has been working against you for quite a long time. That's the government working with private companies to screw the citizen. That's fascism. So your government is now actively and openly working against you. So in other words... Any delay in making, in, in any delay in spreading the fire, any delay that firefighters or anybody else are able to, to impose upon the spread of a fire can be exceptionally critical in saving lives. So for our government to, on the one hand, try and justify cutting five million euros off fire safety on a children's hospital, and on the other hand, for Leo Varadkar to continue to waste five million euros of taxpayers' money on a completely unnecessary and unaccountable group of cronies who are there with the sole purpose of promoting his already failing premiership is nothing short of immoral waste. And so I think with those concerns, they questioned whether or not they needed to meet these three certain conditions. Any delay in the spread of a fire can save numerous lives. That would have happened in the Grenfell Tower in London, and that most certainly would have happened in the Stardust fire disaster in Dublin. So for Catherine Zappone to say, whatever she says, that fire... Uh, safety in the children's hospital is their number one priority. She's telling a lie. She knows that cutting five million euros from the fire safety spend of that hospital is going to reduce the safety of that building in the event of a fire. She knows that or we can expect that she knows that.
So the minister is telling lies. And she is using her position as a minister and as a so-called progressive. She has this um, mask of being a progressive politician because she's a lesbian and probably she's in favour of abortion, allowing abortion or that. But that doesn't mean she's progressive. She's not a progressive. Catherine Zappone uses her position as a politician to lobby for corporate vested interests. There is no question or doubt about that. Catherine Zappone is a politician, is a lobbyist for corporate vested interests who is using her role as a politician, as a Trojan horse for that. Your government has been working against you for quite a long time. That's the government working with private companies to screw the citizen. That's fascism. So your government is now actively and openly working against you. That's fascism. Your government has been working against you. That's fascism. 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 That's fascism.